Hey guys, welcome back to Fish Hex. Today I'm going to show you how to use the alkalinity Hannah checker. So let's go ahead and get started. So you actually have the container that it comes with, the directions. All right, we'll get into that afterward. The Hannah checker itself. Okay. The region I actually just ordered some more region so this is just came in the mail the syringe which you will fill up with tank water which I already did it's 10 milliliters of tank water okay the syringe you use for the titration or not the titration but for the region and then you can use this if you choose to you can use this that actually hooks on to the front which just keeps the liquid in here the whole time all right we're just going to use it for the sake of using it and also, the uh, it comes with two of these vials, these vials, vials, sorry, vials. If I can speak English today, which then has the 10 milliliter line on there, a cap. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. And get started. So the key to success is to make sure that it's clean. Okay, no fingerprints, and that there is no residue. Uh, one one quick note: when you're done using this, it's going to be like a greenish color. Make sure you don't leave it around. Sometimes I leave my other ones hanging around with the region in it. it if you do it with this one, it's going to taint the glass, and then in turn, your reading is going to be off in the future. So, the best bet to do is use it, get your reading, and immediately rinse this out with tap water. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is fill up 10 milliliters of water. So there, I got 10 milliliters here. Okay. Now what you want to do is make sure there's no bubbles in it. So I always give a little quick swirl to make sure there's no bubbles in it. Get out as many as possible. Kind of seems to be good. Another thing I do is use a paper towel and I twist it to get any fingerprints off to make it as clean as possible on the outside. <coughs> The only reason why we bought the Hannah Checker is to get the most accurate reading possible. So if you're going to spend the money on it, you might as well clean it. So much cleaner that looks. Alright, set that aside. Then you're going to turn on the, the uh, Hannah Checker itself. No. Alright, now add C1. So basically you add the empty container with just the water. No region, or sorry, not empty container. Basically the container with just the water, the vial itself. Now you're going to hit the button once. And wait for it to do its thing. Basically, it's zeroing it. Okay. Now it says two. Okay. So at this point, I take this out. Get your reagent here. So we got it completely full. Now you want to bring it down to. One ml. Okay. Make sense? Work for you? Okay, good. This is actually a new syringe, which is kind of strange. I haven't seen this one before. Let's hold it real quick. It looks a lot different. Or I'm insane. Yeah, so this is the one that originally came with it. It has the one milliliter all up to one. Okay. All right, so basically I am just losing my freaking mind. Okay, yeah. Nope, that's that makes sense. I'm just losing my mind, thinking that it looks different. <clears throat> and for some reason it still does. I'm not sure why. Oh God, who knows? Nope, it's the same. I'm just losing my mind. All right, carry on. Set that aside. Now we're at one mil. And then you're just going to want to put that in here. All right. Again, grab your paper towel here. So they want you to do it five times. Four and five. Now I do that, just in case you get fingerprints on it. Clean it off. And then hit the button again. It's gonna do its thing. 140. All right, so now to get that to DKH, you're gonna take the, uh, I'll show you just, I'll just show you the card real quick. If you can, is it gonna zoom? Nope. All right. So we'll get your calculator out. Okay, so we're gonna take uh, 140, and we're gonna times that by 
zero five six. Okay, that'll give us a DKH of seven point eight four, which is actually for the big tank. This kind of low. I usually keep it at nine nine and a half, uh, which would explain why the core line hasn't been growing very well, and also why my pH is uh, significantly lower. I usually like to keep it at like eight point three. It's been sitting around uh, right now. It's currently at uh, eight point. Uh, Two zero, so still a good range. This is still perfect range. There's nothing wrong with that. But I like mine a little bit higher. I feel like I get a little bit better growth. So from this from this point forward, I'm actually going to readjust my um, alkalinity and calcium needs. I'm just going to up them a little bit more, and then uh, wait a week and see how it changes. And if it's still dropping, uh, then we'll up it again. Um, that's, that just means that you have coral growth. So if your coral's outgrowing the amount that you're adding, then that's what's going to happen. So, all right, guys, make sure again you uh, rinse this out as soon as possible. All right, I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry, I was fumbling around there with the syringes for a little bit, but uh, I just want to make sure I had a good reading there. Okay. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Later.